the tuna corruption scandal in Mozambique is putting the rule of law to a test. At the same time as the legitimacy of Mozambique's legal system is being tested in neighboring South Africa, the country's largest corruption case in record is taking place in a maximum security prison. The scam includes more than 2.7 billion in undeclared state debts, amount lent by the government to establish a modern tuna industry. That was used to purchase trawlers and military patrol boats, but much of it was reportedly transferred to corrupt leaders. The former finance minister Manuel Chang, who approved the payments eight years ago, has already been detained in South Africa since December, 2018. Manuel Chang, veteran politician and economist, who denies taking $7 million in kickbacks, was detained at the request of the United States, after the scam has impacted investments. However, he has been stuck in South Africa for years due to a competing extradition request from Mozambique. When South Africa's Justice Minister ascertained in August that Mr Chang should be extradited to Mozambique to face charges, his destiny thought to be determined. Activist groups in Mozambique and South Africa, meanwhile, have blasted their dissatisfaction with the decision, questioning whether Mozambique has the diplomatic will or capability to prosecute a case properly. In court, FMO lawyers said that there was no assurance that Mr Chang will be prosecuted in Mozambique because the government had presented confusing details concerning whether his former parliamentary status still shielded him. According to lawyer Max Duplessis, while Mr Chang will not be protected from trial for future actions, he might still be subject to exempt from trial for prior acts undertaken during his time as a member of parliament. He further explained Mozambique shields its nationals from extradition. So, if Mr Chang flees to Mozambique, there's no way the US will ever prosecute him. In Mozambique, 19 people have been put on trial, including the son of former President Armando Gobiza. Bribery, embezzlement, and money laundering are among the crimes leveled against them, all of which they refute. When the controversy leaked, his central bank governor said he was unaware of the secret loans, and the former president told a parliamentary committee that he felt the plan was in the best interests of the country. Dambi Gurbuza, Mr. Gurbuza's son, is accused of obtaining $33 million in bribes. Dambi denies the allegations. According to charges filed in a linked lawsuit in a U.S. court by Credit Suisse employee Andrew Pierce, he brought the shipbuilder at the center of the controversy to his father and other officials. Pruinvest, a Lebanese immorality shipbuilder, is suspected of doing business with the Gubuzas. Privinvest is adamant that it has done nothing wrong. Dambi lived at Privinvest owner Iskander Safa's villa in the south of France for approximately a year before returning home with $100,000 in cash in his bag, according to Pierce, who pleaded guilty to wire fraud. When transiting through Dubai, he was stopped by the authorities for having too much money, that Privinvest helped get the money released, which the shipbuilder denies. Pierce revealed in the court. Privinvest has said that any money paid to Ndambi were paid as business investments and were fully legal, and that it did not pay him $33 million in kickbacks. Privinvest admits making payments in its defense, including $10 million to Mozambique's ruling party, Frilimo, and $1 million to Mishtenai Usi. The shipbuilder, on the other hand, claimed that these were legal funds to an election campaign in 2014, not kickbacks. In April, 2014, a Privinvest Group company deposited $1 million to a bank account in the name of Sunflower International Corp FZE, according to the defense statement. Privinvest recognizes that this payment was made in whole or in part for the gain of President Nai Usi. Denai Usi requested a Privinvest official for additional political donations during a visit to Paris in August, 2014, and company bought him a Toyota Land Cruiser with his picture in South Africa. 
According to the shipbuilder, there is more to know about this scandal. We will continue to update you. Stay tuned.